Okay, so I put some of this on the edge of my hair and I'm going to work in a little bit more down here just because I'm going to braid my hair. So I started with clean hair, freshly washed, did a little comb. Okay, give it a little side part. It doesn't have to be super complicated, just do a, I don't know if it's like a braid, or I'm sorry, a French braid, I think it's a French braid, not sure, don't get mad if it's not what it's called. <laughs> okay, so you're going to work your way inside the braid. brush it before now to detangle it. So I'm just braiding this a little extra down so the braid doesn't get undone. I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. Just two ties real quick. It's going to be a bun right here. So something quick. You can, you can make the braid a little neater if you would like it to be neater. As you can see, there's a few little hairs here doing it quickly just to kind of show you guys the concept and then I get this and I give it a little comb in this direction because that's the direction we're gonna have the braid going okay let me add a little bit more product If you guys want to see how I did my makeup, very simple makeup look. I posted another video of it. Go take a look, watch the video. Okay. So I'm going to do a little side part. Make your three strands. Okay. Do you see that? So I'm gonna grab another little piece. That's kind of hard to see because of the lighting and my hair is really dark.
tricky here. I'm going to pull it over to the side. I'm trying to pull it snug. Okay. So now I'm just going to braid it just a tad bit more. Just enough so when I do put it together you won't really um, and I'm just using these tiny little rubber bands maybe twice be good I need to be able to take it off in a second so um, there you go there you go and it wraps around. And then I have this side and that comes down to about my ear. Oh, I have a few pieces. <laughs> well then, I don't really think that's gonna matter. I'm gonna go squeeze it together right about here. Put it in a ponytail. So and this is where the rubber bands come out. So which is why I said that um, little strand right there didn't matter. I think I'm gonna make this tighter if I can by one more wrap. Okay, got it. So now you undo your braid. Undo your braid. Ta-da. Okay, now I have the donut. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit more product on my ponytail. should have did that afterwards. Spread it out till it feels even. And then you get another rubber band. strands and you are going to do a um, outer braid going all the way around your hair okay so let's get started so as you can see I have my three strands And it really doesn't, you really don't want to pull too hard. And it doesn't really matter what the beginning is going to look like because your braid's going to wrap right over it. So it's going to cover the very beginning. And you just grab little sections and braid as you go.
switch positions. Now I need this last little piece to be a little bit more snug. Clean this up a little bit. Grab a little more product. Oh, I think I grabbed too much. Try to braid it as much as you can without losing the tip of it. And wherever it stops is wherever it stops. Okay. So as you can see, you're left with this little braid here. Let me see. Now I need a little bobby pin just to secure it. I have an open bobby pin or these. I like these for firm secure um, hairstyles and this is good for like updos. Sometimes I like using both. One to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And the other one, let me see. So I'm going to wrap it around and then you kind of just find a spot and tuck it in. And I like to use the closed bobby pin. I'm holding it open. For the end to really secure it in there. And then this open one on the other side, just to lock it in place. All right, there you have it. Really quick. Okay, let me see. There you go. And then these little pieces here you can get another bobby pin and just pin it in there let me see if i can do this with one hand 